Hi loves, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video has been long, long overdue. All of you have asked me to film it. I haven't had the time because I have been studying like crazy. I have so many projects and so many exams coming up, but I decided to set aside today to film this video because I just wanted to film it. It was time. <laughs> so I'm gonna be talking to you today about tips and tricks that I do, that I use, in order to stop myself from overeating in quarantine. As we all know, the entire world is in quarantine today. I hope. And so it's so hard for us to stop ourselves from opening the cupboard or the fridge and eating whatever the hell we want because we aren't going out, we aren't going to the beach. Who cares about a summer body? Honestly, it's okay if you want to eat, if you want to relax, it's all good. But, for, but to those of you who actually want to get their stuff, get their shit together, stop overeating, feel better about themselves, eat clean, then watch the video till the end. I hope it will help. All right. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go about this from morning till night. Every meal I eat, all the snacks I eat, and all the things that I do to stop myself from overeating. All right, so the first trick I'm gonna talk to you about is probably something that everyone does and it's so intuitive, which is that fix things that you do every single day. Mine is I drink coffee every morning. And so the first thing that I changed was I stopped adding sugar to my coffee. I've been doing that for years and honestly now I love the taste of coffee without sugar. And if my coffee has just a little bit of sugar in it, it bothers me. And so that's the first thing I do. The second thing I do, which I think is the most important thing, you can focus on the second tip and forget about all the other tips in my opinion, which is that you shouldn't eat your breakfast with your coffee. Personally, I wake up every day at 9 a.m. So if I have breakfast early, then I'm gonna have lunch early, then I'm gonna have a snack early, dinner early, and I might very well have a snack after dinner. And so, that's a trick my brother taught me. When I wake up, I drink my coffee and I wait. And so I drink my coffee and after almost an hour, I think, at, all, at around 10, 10.30, which is right now, I get my breakfast ready. I'm gonna show you the breakfast that I do, which is oatmeal, that gets me so full and ready for the entire day, I can't even explain, guys. The fact that I'm so full in the morning helps me avoid so many snacks in the afternoon. I don't have a snack between breakfast and lunch because of how good this breakfast is. And now I'm gonna go, go into the kitchen and show you guys how I prepare this oatmeal breakfast. All right, for my breakfast porridge, it's a very simple recipe. It's delicious, I swear, once I tasted it, I couldn't stop making it. The first step is, okay, I, I use soy milk with no sugar. You can use any milk, but lactose milk usually bothers me a little bit down in the So I would rather stick to soy milk. You fill a small cup with mom in the bag. <laughs> okay. So you fill that cup. Okay, this is not how people usually make porridge. Usually they they use a pan and they heat it up where give us, you know, so I would rather not do that than I have this breakfast every single day. Okay, and that cup, you put it in the you put it in the microwave for one minute. In the meantime, you have to prepare your porridge plate, cup, whatever. Uh, the first thing you do is you get peanut butter. I like the crunchy type, I don't know why, but you can get any peanut butter, it doesn't matter. And you put two tablespoons of peanut butter inside your plate. All right, and then you wait for the milk to get ready, okay? Get your milk out of the microwave and pour it over the peanut butter. Yay. Okay, after pouring it in, okay, you can see, whatever, uh, get oats. This is the most important part, the oats. Okay, try to fill it the same level as the milk or else there would be too much and mix okay keep mixing until it looks like uh, keep mixing until it looks like this all right as for the last part you can you can add nuts to your porridge you can add fruits i always add bananas i do not nuts because my peanut butter is crunchy so it's like there is nuts inside but I always add bananas. 
one banana. breakfast that helps me stay full for a long while. I'll show you the result. Alright, so you don't have to have this exact same breakfast. Obviously, I don't have the same breakfast every day, but most days, just a really uh, large breakfast would do, full of vitamins, fibers, calcium. I don't know, I'm not a dietitian, so don't come after me. Alright, the second thing I do is I only eat one serving at lunch. So I get, it doesn't have to be like a small serving, a normal sized serving will do. That's what I do. No matter what the lunch is, I almost never go for seconds. And while you're at that, don't overfill your plate at lunch. That just beats the purpose. It's like you ate two servings. Fourth tip, don't stop yourself from eating a snack. If you stop yourself from eating a snack and you starve yourself, dinner time will come and you're gonna eat a really large dinner, which is just not good. We don't want that. So try to stick to a healthy snack or maybe not a healthy snack, just eat whatever snack you want in the afternoon. And just something that will make you happy because if you're not satisfied in the afternoon, you're gonna try to, satisf to satisfy yourself during dinner. And now the last one, dinner. Don't skip dinner, obviously, but try to make it as small as possible. Try to have dinner as early as possible. If you can have dinner at 7 or 7.30 or maximum 8, that would be perfect because the, the longer the period between dinner and breakfast, the better. To recap this video, I'm going to tell you this again. I am not a certified dietitian. I have not studied any of this. I'm just telling you guys what works for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know. If I have the time, I'm, I'll make the time for this and I will film this video for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. I love you guys so much. See you in the next one.